What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. Welcome, what's happening? And let's talk about some TurboGrafx-16 as I jump into a game called Dead Moon? Is the moon dead? What's going on with the moon? Why is it so dead? Well, who knows? We don't know why the moon is dead, but apparently it is. I guess we'll find out in the story mode when we go and play it. But I warn you, this game is frustrating. There may be some rage and a lot of it. So let's jump into me playing Dead Moon on the TurboGrafx-16 video game computer entertainment gaming system. Oh, roll it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Dead Moon. It was about two centuries after the beginning of human space expo. Far reaches of the solar system near Pluto had reported the presence of a comet. According to calculations, this comet was supposed to miss the Earth by about one bajillion kilometers. Space probes were sent towards this comet to relay information to the Earth about its position when the probes were about to be probed themselves. Oh, 200,000 kilometers away to the comet, they began to send data back to the Earth. Brighter and shifted curse, blah, 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 and, and the thing with the comets and stuff and all the things. Directly towards the all the UN countries, the space programs began to avert the disaster. Come several leaves orbiting missiles were launched towards the comet. Okay, so basically this comet's coming towards them. The result was that the comet shifted course just enough to avoid the Earth, but collided with our moon. Oh no. Oh hey, it's Jupiter. Seen the only damage will was the sizable crater on the moon when probes were sent to the moon to inspect the damages. No trace of the comet was to be found. Instead, what they discovered was a host of alien military spacecraft. What are we going to do? I guess that means it must be a dead moon. All right. Of course, we're in the city, because why well, start out on the moon? It's just a game called Dead Moon. Gonna need some sort of options. Well, that was stupid. Well, that helped out a little bit. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't cool, man. That wasn't cool at all. That was awful. Why would my game be over? It's like your speed is so... There it is. So you need that spread shot. Like if you don't get that... Because it's like your your speed is ultimately insane. Like like you just the touch of the button moves the, the ship. Ooh, I like this one. Check out them beams. I am liking my my options here. Oh, I was supposed to get those missiles. Now what am I supposed to do? Well, I guess that will help. Well, I don't like these ones. Guess I darn it, I missed all of them. Now how am I supposed to fight off these UFOs? It's bullet heck. Is the nice way of saying it. Oh, that's right, I have bombs. Oh, hey, maybe this will get me something cool. 
Hey, I'll take it. It looks like we are gonna keep on moving. Moving on. Wish these things would stop moving so I could actually hit them. Shoot! Darn it! That was... I mean, how you even... Oh, I like that one. The backward shot with the spread shot. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> now we... Now we're cooking with gasoline. Oh, look at that thing! This should be no problem for these UFOs. These UFOs. These darn UFOs. Got the UFOs. Shoot. I don't like them guys. Where am I going to face a real boss? Oh, those stupid things just killed me. I, I, really? I got killed twice? Oh, apparently there's the boss. Great. That was just... just epic. Well, there you have it. I barely even got to the first main boss. The skeleton pterodactyl. That does this. Does kind of this. Alright. That's enough. But what I will say is that it is a cool looking game. The controls a little bit um, too erratic to move around those tiny little dots that fly everywhere at that one point where they call that a uh, bullet uh, whatever uh, and it's just like it's so much stuff to try to get to and then a lot of the upgrades like it seems like right when you get upgraded if you accidentally hit the wrong upgrade it downgrades you back to your regular guns or it removes or if you get hit you get removes your backfire which things just come up behind you and appear behind you and they'll kill you instantly so that was my only, so it's like one you have to literally learn where to be at certain points of the game. But then sometimes it just flies at you, but as you saw, I got past the first two UFOs, or UFOs, whatever you'd like to call them. The aerial phenomenons. Phenomenons. Phenomenon. Anyways, let me know what you think of Dead Moon. Have you ever played it on the TurboGrafx-16 Entertainment Family System? What's my deal? Anyways, before you leave, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time I dump, dump? <laughs> see you next time I take a dump. I'm kidding. Before, before I dive into, I'll plug my nose and I'll maybe do a cannonball, into another TurboGrafx-16 game. I'm just going to end it here. Whew. Just, where's the fire thing? Oh, oh okay.
see if I could find. Ah, Thunder Castle. 